Sensei here, four days away, fight night, Ovo Arena, King Kenny versus my mate Nate. Nice. Kenny, I'm going to go to you first, okay? Fight camp, I got to ask you. A lot of questions around the volume, the, the output, the aggression, the power. How has camp been different for you? Um, it's been great. We've been training hard, as always. Uh, this camp especially has been the best camp I've ever had, mostly because... You know, I've been sparring three times a week and I'm at an optimum weight as well. This is the best I've ever felt. You know, I'm hitting all my PRs and I feel like this is a real good fight. We, we, we saw that sparring footage. How, how does that feel, right, to go in sparring? It feels like you're letting your hands go. Do you feel confident about this new approach that you have? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, letting my hands go, but with intelligence as well, you know. That's just the main thing. There was really nothing wrong with how I was fighting before. I was just, I just need to let my hands go, to be honest. Nate, you saw the sparring footage. What do you see, that, this, this new Kenny, right? What do you think about that? I think it's great because I want the best fighter and I can prove myself. So if you're hitting PRs, if you feel the best the way you've ever been, I'm happy because I'll be able to prove myself even more. So, I mean, that's great. Because I want, I want us to have the best fight. I want people to talk about our fight. You know, everybody's just, I think they're looking over our fight, to be straight up honest. So the fact that you feel that good, I feel like even better. I'm here to entertain, I'm here to have fun, and the best fighters, the the best fight, so I'm glad to hear that. That's how I feel. We're going to talk about the nice guy approach in a second, but Nate, I, I got <laughs> to nice ask you. I, I gotta, That's who I am. Yes. Come I, on. I, I got to ask you about your camp because this is your first fight, no head guards, yeah. right? 10 ounce gloves. Yeah. How has camp been different for you? Because it's got to be different, right? Because Kenny has had, what, four fights now? All of them no head guards. Yeah. Right? Opponents are pretty tough. Yeah. Don't mean to toot my own horn. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but how, has camp been, how has camp been different for you? Uh... Just putting in more time, being being smarter, because, well, limited amount of time. So we did the best we could, get the body in shape, train, and uh, stick to the fundamentals, the basics, and just sparring, just like what Kenny's doing. I don't think, I, how much can you really say has changed in this camp versus that camp? I mean, a camp is a camp. You train, you get ready, and you do the best you can. So I don't really have anything crazy to say. I mean, I've been training, having fun. I watch Kenny's stories every day, see how he's doing, so. Got yeah, an you. So, not just him, everybody. I watch your story every day too, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how, how has my camp been? As the best it could be, this is the best that it could be with, with all the situations going on, so it's good. Kenny, do you think he's ready for no head guards, you know, 10 ounce gloves? Do you think that gives you an advantage? How do you feel about that? Yeah, that does give me the advantage. Of, of course, he's going to come in fight ready, but... I do think this is a complete different thing to what he's been doing. Obviously, he's been fighting with head guards, 16 ounce gloves. And I watched his fight the other day. I'm pretty sure he was having like three minute breaks in between rounds. What was that? Uh, you the, my last fight? Yeah, your last fight. Yeah, it was, it was like, not three minutes, maybe about a minute and a half, most two, but. I was watching it back. I timed it, it was actually three minutes. That's okay. That's crazy. What does, that, what does that mean to you? How no, 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 he, that? no, he is gonna come in ready because yeah. obviously he has been training for one minute breaks and you know three minute rounds but <laughs> when someone's coming at you with 10 ounce gloves with bad intentions it's different compared to like you know he's basically sparring that's all these other fights have been head guards and 16 ounces but I will say you know he is good technically but the people who he's been fighting bro come on <laughs> he hasn't fought any killers I will say Nate you, you haven't fought with head guards right but you know, there's usually more protection there with the head guards and the bigger gloves, and you did some damage on some guys. Do you think you can do that same damage to Kenny? Uh, when Kenny makes a mistake, we'll maximize on it. So, can I do the damage? Just don't make a mistake. That's the best thing I can say. Now, listen, uh, Nate, I saw a little comment. I'm going to let you talk about it. It was on uh, Kenny oh, yeah. Kingpin posted. What was, yeah. that, what was that comment that you posted? Uh, Kenny, did you see it? Yeah, he saw it. Oh, he saw it? Okay. Yeah, he saw it. So, so, so Nate, wait, what Tell everybody, everybody watches the YouTube videos. If you know, you watch the video, right, on your camp? Yeah. Yeah. No, the comment was just basically, on paper, I feel like, I mean, you've got the advantage on everything. You got professional trainers, you got professional sparring partners, you've got, like, the, the trainer, the cryotherapy, all that stuff. So technically, like, okay, you've been doing all this on the paper, but I feel like that's just paper. When it comes down to it, it needs the fight. You need the heart of a fighter, and I feel like that's where I will excel. I might not have... 20 trainers, nutritionists, you know, I'm out there in the sun, in the, in the warehouse, just in the middle of Thailand, just doing all this stuff in, don't have anything of the professional mindset, so to speak, but at the end of the day, 
I've got the heart of a lion and I'm ready to fight. So that's where I feel like everybody, all the comments, that was one of the comments for everybody else. They're all like, oh, like, oh, Kenny's got this, Kenny's got that. I'm like, blah, 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 it doesn't matter because once the bell rings, I feel like we're both prepared, we're both in shape, we both got the technique. It comes down to who wants it more. So and you're saying like, that you don't have the heart of a warrior, bro. I mean, he's going to find out if it has to go there into deep waters, into, into the trench area like, that I like to call it. We're going to see who has the eye of the tiger, you know? Yeah. I, want, I wanted to bring it back to the nice guy, right? You said no more Mr. Nice Guy, right? You said that Nate has a cute smile. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> your coach said something yesterday. I saw yesterday on Instagram. Can you tell us what uh, Daly had said about yeah. <laughs> Nate, potentially? He said that Nate kind of looks like a serial, a serial killer. killer. And yeah. when he said that, I kind of see it because... I don't know, he's just always smiley and grinning. Like. So do you, do you think it's, this, this nice guy act is real, or do you think that he might be one of those guys on the Netflix documentaries that- He could potentially be one of those guys <laughs> behind the scenes. We'll never know, but we'll find out in a few years to come. Now, I, I wanna ask you, if he is the nice guy, right? Because you fought, got someone like me, the nice guy, yeah. right? You've seen that before. Yeah. How do you make sure that the nice guy doesn't steal your fire because if he comes out Fuck and doesn't that. bring the fight, yeah. how do you make sure that you go out there and make a statement? Because in the ring, it's either me or him, and it's not going to be me, you know. So as soon as the bell rings, he's the enemy. Even before the, the bells rung, he's he's the enemy till oh. after the fight. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah. you're an enemy until until, no, the bell no. rings. until after the fight. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Nate, I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you. Go for uh, it. Because you're representing Thailand. Okay. So, and I'm a. I love martial arts, and Thailand is is like a mecca of Muay Thai, Muay Thai, right? Amazing. And now in Muay, in Muay Thai, these guys are super nice, but they will take your head off. So yeah. I gotta ask you, is, <laughs> what is that like for you to represent Thailand? And are you taking that warrior spirit with you? Is that what this is about? Yeah, I'm doing the best I can because, you know, well, I'm, I'm a foreigner living over there yep. and I've come to love the culture. I've come to love the people, the food, just everything about it. And now that I have the chance to represent them and the, I wanna do the best I can. Uh, my fans, they're cheering me on, and I would I'd just love to do the best I can, definitely. Uh, it's such a beautiful culture, and talking about Muay Thai fighting, there's a guy on my team, one of my trainers, he's, he's a professional Muay Thai, he's a champion there in Thailand, and just to be able to learn from them, to see the way they live their lives, it's just amazing, so use the best I can from that, from a boxing coach, everything, bring it all in, and just fight the best I can. Kenny, when you hear that, do you think that uh, there's any merit to that? Do you think he's going to have that warrior spirit? Well, yeah. Like I said, in Thailand, they train hard over there. Like I know that everyone knows Thailand, they train hard. So he's going to come in, you know, fight ready with a fighter's mentality. And ultimately, he's going to come down to who wants it more on fight night. Now, Nate, you had said early on, and correct me if I'm wrong, you said that you wanted Kenny, right? Yeah. yeah. Why did Be you want Kenny? I t like I've said many times, out of all the fighters, I feel like the biggest challenge for me is Kenny. I feel like once I beat Kenny, the rest won't be as tough. They've all got, they've all got different advantages and styles, but I feel like, for me, Kenny's the hardest because our styles are similar, we're more technical, we're both longer. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like whoever wins out of the two of us will be in the finals. Uh, the, the other side, whether it's Nunes or Filipek, whoever we face, I feel like both of us will, I'm not gonna say walk through them, but I feel like we'll both do great. So I, I genuinely believe the winner of us two will be in the finals. And I feel like Kenny is just, just a good fighter and it'll be a great way to prove myself. Hey, do you think he's trying to set you up here? What, 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 do, you, what do you get from this vibe here? He's, I'm he's saying that set me up for what? Yeah, but set me up in what way? How? Yeah. He's trying to big you up. Is he is, Fuck that, nice all that bro. shit, I'm just looking past <laughs> it. At the end of the day, we're both gonna get in there and fight. Yeah. You know? So I'm looking, he can say what he wants. We're still gonna have a fight at the end of the day, so. Yeah, and I will say, you now, Nate is saying that he wants you because he's going to be a challenge. Now, yeah. to talk about the tournament here, because we are in a tournament and there's yeah. other guys here. Uh, Kenny, there's some guys that have been mentioning your name thinking that you're going to be the, maybe a cakewalk, maybe the, the easier fighter. Yeah, like yeah. Jarvis. What Fuck do you guys Jarvis. say about that? <laughs> he's just butthurt that I put him last on my list. That's, that's, that's all I have to say to that. Didn't he it's, put you on the last of his list? Yeah, yeah. so he, he, he took it personal. I'm sorry, Jarvis, but it's the truth. <laughs> L's number one. I saw that. L's number one. L's number one. one. So, Nate, for you, right? I know you're, you're looking at Kenny right now. Yeah, yeah. But is there anybody else that you want to fight? Yeah, I want Winderson. Like, want after Winderson. this fight. I was quick. I want Winderson because, I, I've said this many times, at the end of the day, I'm not a professional boxer. I don't pretend to think I'm a professional boxer. I'm here f to entertain for my fans, make some money, have a new goal in life, build myself, learn new things. 
But at the end of the day, this is entertainment. And so Winderson has the biggest following, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, wherever. And so fighting with him would put on the biggest show and obviously goals. Everybody has different goals. My goal is to build my following. I've got subs in English, in Brazilian, Portuguese, and everything. So if I was to fight with him, I feel like that would be more eyes, get more followers, and it, it'd build my YouTube channel, my company for the future. So it's, if I could choose anyone easily, it'd be him. What about you, what about you Kenny? Right? Is, this, is this for you about your personal platform? You as the fighter, right? What is this about? What's, what statement are you trying to make? That's a good question. I think it's a bit of both, you know? Just growing, you know, as a platform as a whole and also proving that, you know, I am a good fighter. Because obviously in my last fight, I didn't get to, you know, showcase what I wanted to showcase. So it's more just, you know, improving as a fighter, showing the levels and, you know, showing what I can do, inspire and just make sure it translates onto fight night as well. So it's a bit of both, for sure. All right, gentlemen. Yeah. We've asked a bunch of questions now. Yeah. We want to, you guys are here, eye to eye looking at each other. All right, Kenny, I'm going to have you go first. Okay? Oh. I'll give you the opportunity to make your final word, make a statement. What are you going to do to this man come fight night? Well, it's going to be, uh, if it goes the distance, it will be 15 minutes of hell for sure. Okay. Uh, because you never fought in 10 ounce gloves. So you're going to be in for a shot. Once the first jab lands, let alone the right, you're going to realize it's a completely different, you know, sport to what you've been doing. You are a very good fighter, I'll say that. Thank you. you haven't been where I've been. You haven't fought the people I've fought. Mm. The people you fought, they're not great. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to get... Get what? Get what? I don't know what you said you're going to get. No, as in you're going to get it on Friday. Oh, I'll get it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, I didn't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nate, final words here. Message uh, to Kenny. What's going to happen fight night? I hope you're not injured in your camp, your last week of training. I hope everything goes well. I hope you're fully fit. I hope you're mentally ready so that I know I beat somebody who doesn't have any excuses. I, I genuinely, like genuinely, I believe that. Mm. Nobody likes to watch a fight and then when the loser comes out and has all these excuses. It's true. So I, I genuinely hope you're great, you're healthy, you're strong, mm -hmm. and we can just fight our best and then whoever comes out on top is, is a better man on that night. So I'm ready for the fight. And I'm excited. I will say, I'm starting to feel it right now. I'm starting to the sense that the, the switch is starting to get flipped. And that's what <laughs> we hope come Saturday night, that that switch gets flipped and we see fireworks oh, um, from you guys. So four days away, oh. over Arena, King Kenny, my mate Nate, by the pay-per-view, yep. and we'll see you there. Definitely.